We've all surely seen number lines before, though it may have been a minute. Here's one. Number lines make it really easy for us to visualize changes in a variable. For example, if we started here and traveled this far, we see that we have traveled two units in x. By traveling from a smaller number to a larger number, we traveled in the positive direction. What is delta x, or the change in x, if we were to start at 3 and go to minus 2? To get from 3 to minus 2, we traveled 5 units. Notice that this time, however, we went in the opposite direction. Because we started with a big number and traveled to a smaller number, we traveled in the negative direction. This means that the change in x in this case is negative 5. What is the overall change in x from the initial starting point if you start at 2, change by plus 2, and then change again by minus 1? We started at 2 and ended at 3. Although we took a pretty indirect route to get there, overall we only moved one unit in the positive direction to get to 3. The arrow to show the net movement looks like this. We can do the same thing even if we orient our number line vertically. If we start at negative 2 and go to 3, how many units do we go and in which direction? We are moving in the positive direction in this example. Because we have now oriented our number line vertically, the positive direction is now upwards, so we've moved plus 5 units. Now that we've had some practice reading number lines, let's see how this relates to STEM disciplines like chemistry. We see number lines like this all the time in chemistry, but we call them energy diagrams. In these diagrams, the axis refers to the energy of something, so let's label the axis energy. The unit that we use for energy is joules, so all of these numbers on the number line will represent quantities of joules. Each point on this number line represents a possible state of some chemical system. So if our chemical system started with 2 joules of energy and went to 4 joules, how many spaces on the number line did we move? We moved 2 spaces. To go from 2 joules to 4 joules, we went in the positive direction. This means that our chemical system gained energy. So the change in energy, delta E, is plus 2 joules. What would happen if our chemical system went from 5 joules to 1 joule? To go from 5 joules to 1 joule, we move in the negative direction. When we move in this direction, the chemical system loses energy. So delta E is negative 4 joules. Using these types of number lines, energy diagrams, is very helpful for keeping track of changes in energy, especially when dealing with multiple changes.